Welcome to Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show. My name is Amy Kardashian. I'm your host. And, and I am your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. Well, remember, Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. <laughs> That's right. Well, this is our first show. We're so excited to be here with you and uh, also bring to you inspirational, motivational, uh, uh, we want to inspire you, empower you, and encourage you to take action towards a better life. Basically, this show is all about you. However, this segment, we are going to introduce ourselves to you because we want to connect directly and I, we want you to get to know us. I would like to get to know you. You could put your comments, send me information, send me, tell me what you like to learn about, and we will do that, right? Stephanie? That's right. Okay. That's right. Sounds good. Would you like to tell us what we're going to be having this four segments? Yes. So we're going to have four segments today. We're going to take you on a journey. Does that sound good? That sounds yeah. really good. Take you on a journey. <laughs> and the first segment is going to be about Amy's background and growing up, her childhood living through the Lebanese Civil War and all the things that she overcame. It would be very inspiring. And the second segment is going to be about when she came to the United States. The third segment is going to be about how we met. And the fourth segment is, is a surprise. surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That's Definitely. right. Definitely. Well, what's the reason I wanted to share with you, or we decided, yes. me and my co-host decided right. to share with you uh, my background and where I came from? Because we truly believe that might inspire you, especially in the uh, holidays. And we know so many people are uh, really uh, busy shopping, thinking about what they want to buy for the loved ones. And some people not able to do that. Some people are going through obstacles, challenges. And um, the holidays could be uh, stressful for adults at times. Is that correct? That's absolutely it's correct. More yes. For kids to have uh, Christmas time and all that. Mm -hmm. However, a Christmas is supposed to be, it's all inspiration. It's all about love, right? Absolutely. Right? And then that's why we decided to in, in bring to you some inspirational. It is not the story that you want to hear in Christmas time maybe, but if you hear it the right way, you open your mind and your heart, that might inspire you to really enjoy your family and uh, enjoy the time that you have with them. So let's begin. Yes, what let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you know, um, I grew up in Lebanon. In 1975, Lebanese Civil War began. I was just 12 years old. And when the war began, my father told us we want to move to Egypt for a safe and better life. That's what my dad, he had a big heart to, to save. He wanted to protect his family. Mm -hmm. So we were all of us in one in the living room talking about moving to Egypt. After the meeting was over, my father left to the other room. My other siblings left the house. And I stayed in that room only my, me and my older brother, Robert. At that time, Robert was 20 and I was 12. For some reason, Robert asked me what you want to do when you grow up. At that time, I was dealing with learning disability. Today, we know as dyslexia. Not your average dyslexia. The kind of dyslexia you hold your book upside down and you don't even realize it. And as you know, many years ago, decades ago, teachers, they didn't understand what was happening when the, when the child didn't know how to read and write and what's going on. They just called me. I was lazy. I didn't want to study and all kind of putting me down instead of helping me. They didn't know any better. But Robert, for some reason, asked me what you want to do when you grow up. I was, you could just imagine how happy I was hearing those words, those, those hope that he was giving me. So I looked at Robert and I said, I want to be a teacher one day or a lawyer. And he said, why you want to be a teacher? I said, because I want to help people. I want them to feel good about themselves. I want them, I want to teach them. I want to have patience with them. 
and I want to be the teacher that my teachers they're not and he said one day you will be teacher that was very very hopeful and inspiring to me and I looked at him he was so handsome Robert was so handsome I looked at him in his eyes and I said well Robert that's not gonna happen I can I'm repeating class year after year how am I gonna be a teacher one day that's not possible and he said in this beautiful eyes he said looked at me and he said listen I would I promise you you will be teacher one day Wow I was really really happy and excited about that so he needed to get his tea from the kitchen and I said, Robert, no, no, you sit there and I'm gonna get up and get your tea. Because I didn't want him to leave the room. That's kind of selfish a little bit. It was like, I didn't want him to go anywhere, literally. So he was offering to help you he, become that, a teacher. Yes, he, but he's supposed to get out to get to, the, to get his tea from the kitchen. Yes. And I, when he was telling me, giving me hope about that, yes. I'm like, oh, I don't want you to move. You stay where you're at, right, <laughs> right. there. So I get up and had it towards the kitchen. And not a second later, just a second later, a bomb flew through the window into that living room. And Robert was gone. That was only the beginning of a long, long and harsh journey after that. A few days later, my father saw me shaking. The bomb came one after another to that building and we lost, we were, became homeless and we were in the neighbor's house. Everyone, everyone in the, in the, they were in that one small room. And I was sitting in the corner shaking, scared. And everybody was trying to comfort my mom. My father saw me and he, Rain, he came to me he came down on his knees and he put his hands on my shoulders and he said what's wrong I said daddy I'm afraid I'm I'm afraid I'm scared and he said I know you are and I know this is very hard on you what you just witnessed but sometimes in life we have to go through darkness to see the light those words of wisdom helped me to start to see my life in different perspective. And since then, I start to realize every time I was going through obstacles or challenges, to understand that I, there is a light out there. And if you're going through any challenges in this Christmas time, understand that you are going to see the light. And this is for this, this segment. So we're gonna we'll continue later on, right? Yes, absolutely. That's that's a powerful story, and it really kind of puts everything in perspective. You know what's really important in life, and you know because in Christmas time, you can get wrapped up into wrapped up. Did you like my pen? Yeah. <laughs> you can get wrapped up into the the hustle and bustle of the holidays mm -hmm. and, and gifts and, and gifts mm -hmm. and you know all the 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 things that are fun, but but the true meaning of Christmas is is love. It's about and love. It's about having each other. Mm -hmm. I will do anything right now to have my brother. Absolutely, you know, I bet you that, would. That, yeah. that really, from that moment, I learned. I learned that to appreciate my loved ones and love them no matter what. So that that's that's a lesson. One of the many lessons I learned. Okay, so this, this was our first segment, and we're going to be back for the second segment. We'll continue and the we'll journey. We'll continue with the you. journey. Yes, absolutely. So stay tuned. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 